Hi, Muslims often attack other people's belief and say, you are committing blasphemy, my friend, which they call shirk in Islam. Shirk means associating partners with Allah, i.e. elevating another entity or being to the same level of Allah. Shirk is the unforgivable sin in Islam, which means Allah will never forgive you for committing this act, i.e. blasphemy. Now many Muslims who become Quran only Muslims lately even call the Shahada blasphemy, i.e. shirk, because Muhammad is mentioned in one and the same sentence with Allah, which Quran only Muslims consider as shirk or blasphemy. And we have actually to agree with them. Are you allowed in Islam to replace Muhammad's name in the Shahada? Let's say with the name of Moses, the answer is no. So the Islamic Shahada, according Muslims is, there is no God besides Allah and Muhammad is his messenger. Unfortunately, this is not the only problem because the Quran itself contains shirk, in other words, blasphemy, which is, as I mentioned earlier, associating partners with Allah. But more than 75% of the Muslim population in this world, they don't know Arabic and they don't understand what they read in the Arabic Quran. Now the non-Arabic speaking Muslims, i.e. the 75% of the non-Arabic speaking world only listen to their Imams, Ustas or scholars to what they have to say and, and believe in what their scholars teach them, especially when it comes to the Arabic Quranic ayahs of the Quran. So do most Muslims actually read and understand the Arabic Quran? Do Muslims actually know what the Quranic ayahs mean? Do they even know what the Arabic says? The answer is no. And today we are going to prove that to you that most Muslims in the world have no clue what the Arabic Quran says. And also today's video is the evidence that most Muslims are unfortunately dependent on the lies, taqiyya and deception of the Muslim translators and scholars because they simply do not know Arabic and have no idea and no clue what the Arabic ayahs in the Arabic Quran mean. On top of that, Muslims are taught by their scholars to not ask any questions or criticize the Quran. So how will you know as a non-Arabic speaking Muslims what the Arabic text of the Quran say? You tell me. In the end, the majority of Muslims in the world have to put their trust on the translations of the Quran and only listen to the, what the Imams and scholars of Islam have to teach them. Now, if you had a discussion or a debate with a Muslim or you have any Muslim friends, most of them use the following words. Subhanallah, glory to Allah or Alhamdulillah, all praise to Allah. Now focus on the above word, Subhanallah. The root word is Tasbih. Tasbih is only and only for Allah, according to the Muslims. So if you do Tasbih, if you, you sabbih someone else, that means you are committing blasphemy, you are committing shirk. So tasbih or subhan is only for Allah, hence subhanallah. If you say subhan 
rob Christian, you are already committing blasphemy. So Subhan is only and only for Allah. Glory in Islam is only and only reserved to Allah. The moment you say glory to someone else, Tasbih, Subhan, you are already committing blasphemy. You are associating partners with Allah. Now, as you see here, this is an ayah from the Quran. This is chapter Al-Fatih, chapter 48, ayah 9. Let me read the Arabic for you. The English translation says that you may believe in God, i.e. Allah, and His Messenger, and assist Him in battle, and honor Him, and glorify Him in the morning and evening. Now, according to Arabic grammar rules, I as an Arabic native speaker from the Middle East, they taught us at school that according to Arabic grammar rules, the last person mentioned in an ayah like this or in an Arabic sentence like this, all the words that come after go back to the last person and the last person alone. In this case, the messenger, Muhammad. So you have to assist Muhammad in battle, you have to honor or respect him, and you have to glorify who? The Rasul, Muhammad, every morning and evening. So Muslims always say, hey, when you associate partners with Allah, that's blasphemy, that's shirk, that's a no-no. You are committing blasphemy. You are a mushrik, according to Islam and Muslims. But why do you Muslims don't study your own Quran? Hmm? So you Muslims need to think that blasphemy, shirk, is in chapter 48, ayah 9 of the Quran. Because if you have to glorify, you have to do tasbih for Muhammad, that means you have to say Subhana Muhammad. And when we last time checked, Muslims are only allowed to say Subhanallah, not Subhana Muhammad. Tasbih, Tusabbih. Right, Muslims? So, Muslims, this is why we Christians call you Muhammadans. Because according to the Quran, you are commanded to do tasbih. You are commanded to glorify Muhammad every morning and evening. Thank you for watching and God bless.